Hello again. Bouncing. I have a, I have a ball. Bounces. Bounces. Okay. This ball <laughs> doesn't bounce at all. Doesn't bounce. This ball bounces. Okay. Now, let's talk about change in momentum when something's bouncing. Well, if something is going to bounce, it's going to have a velocity when it hits uh, the, the wall or the floor in this case, the counter, and then it's going to have the opposite velocity when it bounces up. That's called an elastic collision. An inelastic collision would be no bounce. Boom. Done. So let's say I have a, a, an incoming ball and it's going to have a velocity initial velocity VI and it's going to bounce and let's say it's perfectly elastic so VI and VF are the same well remember V is a vector so the direction is important so if it's positive V this way it's negative V that way now it's always final minus initial so if it's positive this way and negative this way, it'll be negative VF minus VI, which would be double the velocity, change in velocity. Let's put in, you don't believe me? All right, let's put in uh, 10 meters per second. 10 meters per second, positive 10 meters per second down, negative 10 meters per second up. So that's negative 10, that's the final, minus the initial, that's positive, okay, that's, remember, that's positive, okay, so that's going to be negative 20 meters per second. Or, putting it another way, it's the same mass, right, that mass is not a vector, it's a scalar quantity. So. I can factor that out as well as the two because it's going to be this times this is two. Two M and then the change in V right there. So when it bounces, it's not 10. Let's say the final, it was this, it was this ball where it just didn't bounce. Weird, huh? Well, then it would be zero, would be the final velocity, right? So it would go 10. Zero minus 10 minus 10. So the change would be negative 10. But if you're going to have, that's an inelastic collision. If you're going to have an elastic collision, it's going to go opposite and equal. Comes in positive leaves negative. Same magnitude. Twice. So, when something bounces, it's not good. And I'll, I'll talk to you about a device that was used to redirect the flow of water that will have a tremendous effect on the improvement of technology. But that's for a later video clip. Bounces elastically, you double the momentum. You double the change in momentum. Thank you very much.